Kale, thank you for being patient with us. Start off with uh, Coach Sanders and just making a, a, a general comment about your team's performance this weekend. General comment? Uh, well, I think when you win the national championships, you got to be pretty happy and pumped. And uh, obviously, a great team effort. Um, five guys in the final, six All Americans. Um, we're happy, but we, you know, we leave here uh, ready to improve and, and build, and you know, get some freshmen to the next level. And um, so, we're happy we won, but we're excited about the future also. We'll start off with the first question right here, Coach uh, Nick Forster, Sports Illustrated. Uh, you guys probably had the biggest fan section here this weekend. Um, can you just talk about the atmosphere and what that was like having that support here? Uh, well, it was great. I think. Uh, you know, we're, we're close to Penn State. I mean, there's hundreds of thousands of uh, Penn State alumni, you know, within a 100-mile radius of, of this area. So, you know, we, uh, we were hoping that'd be the case, and uh, and uh, certainly was. So, you know, we felt the energy there, and, and uh, we, we wanted to wrestle well. You know, we, you know, when we first learned that the Nationals were going to be in New York City, Madison Square Garden, that was something you just kind of, Think, man, we want we want to have a good tournament there and, and represent our school and, and our alumni as, as well as we can. And um, I think we did that for the most part. You know, left a couple points out there, lost some tough matches here in the finals, but um, it's a national tournament. You know, that's uh, that's what happens. The back, Kale Nate with the CDT. Can you talk a little bit about your two seniors, Morgan and Nico, and then also about uh, Zane, please? Uh, yeah, uh, couldn't be happier. Uh, for Nico, you know, uh, you know, he's in the finals as a true freshman, in the finals as a sophomore, um, you know, took third as a junior, redshirted, um, just uh, the guy that, you know, we wanted to win in, in the worst possible way, and, and uh, uh, it was emotional, it was, it was, it was awesome, we're happy for him, a kid that works uh, extremely hard, he's very disciplined and um, very consistent, always gives his best effort, it's very rare, and, uh, yeah, you know, it was a great moment for him, and something he's going to be happy, happy with. Because as you see, it's you know it's not easy to win a national championship, and um, just being in the finals is a great honor in itself. But you know, he wanted to win, and so I was real happy for him that he could. Uh, Morgan had a great year and has had a great career, three-time All-American. Um, you know, obviously we were hoping he could go win that match. He ran into a tough kid, Jaden Cox is uh, is very good, and. Uh, you know, he just uh, he beat us. You know, he beat us today. So, um, but we're real, real happy for Mo for Morgan, and uh, he was excited to wrestle up on the stage. I know, and um, great career, great kid, and they're all just great kids. You know, good individuals, people that you know you're going to be proud of as a as a parent or a brother or a coach or you know a teammate. So, you know, that's uh, you know, that, that makes our jobs a lot more fun. And, uh, oh, yeah, and one more guy, Zane. What can you say about his Zane? Zane, Zane's just Zane. He's uh, only a sophomore, but um, the pressure he puts on his opponents and his ability to score points, and uh, we're glad he's uh, he's only a sophomore. We, we wish he was a freshman, but <laughs> we're just coming into school, I guess. But a uh, great leader for us. Um, you know, we, we hope everyone can follow his lead. He, he made a huge jump from his freshman year, I think, Nolf, and. Uh, and Bo can both make it another huge jump. You know they're very raw in some areas, uh, but they're you know that fire that they bring uh, when they step on the mat is doesn't come around very often. So we're uh, excited about that. And obviously Jordan Conway, we're very happy for him. You know two-time All-American and you know went through three All-Americans, kind of got a, a head scratch and seed there. In the, you know in the second round and you know plowed through and um, ended up being an All-American. So we're happy for him. Right here. And the elder Lewis Town Central. Could you talk about your mix of emotions of winning a team title, seeing two champions, and then the disappointment of the three guys? <laughs> yeah, I'm still trying to figure that one out right now. You know, that coaching wrestling is tough because it's yeah, it's a team game. We want to win as a team, obviously, and um, but you know, we have ten individuals or and as a coach, my job is to help those individuals and if the ind individuals do well, the team does well. So um, it's, it's certainly better, bittersweet. Uh, you know, it's it's tough. It's painful. You know, it hurts when guys don't reach their goals. And um, you know, in the long run, those young guys, you know, they're, they're it, it'll make them a little bit hungrier. You know, they they'll, they'll have a little more urgency to improve. You know, they'll come back here with more fire. It still stinks to lose. You know, there's no way around that. It really 
does stink to lose. Right here in front. Coach Kale, Zab Miller, Flo Russell, Ohio Cast. Uh, you're just like a really nice guy. All your guys are really nice guys. It seems like them doing the right thing, being good people, a sense of community, you know, a sense of family, and, and the culture you guys have built. How important is that that your guys are good people first and, and really good wrestlers second? And, and just the culture you've built, how important is it? Well, I think everybody probably thinks they're a good person, right? So, I mean, I don't know if we're any different than anybody else. We just, um, we have a, a great staff. We, we trust each other. You know, we, we do our best to do things the right way. We believe we'll be blessed um, by doing that. Um, and, uh, you know, we enjoy what we're doing. You know, and there's a bigger picture. Yeah, we want to win, but, you know, we'd rather compete the right way. I mean, Bo, Bo Nickel threw himself on his back three times today. But, you know, I, I guarantee you, um, when, when people see him wrestle, they're going to stop what they're doing and they're going to watch. You know, there's things bigger than winning. You know, the way you compete, the kind of person you are, obviously much bigger than winning. Um, and, and the way you compete, it's bigger than a, being a four-time national champion, right? When it's all said and done, you know, there's going to be a lot of four-time national champions. There's not going to be a lot of Jason Knopf's and Bo Nichols, though. Eddie in the back. Uh, hi, Eddie Goldman, No Holds Barred. How are you doing? Congratulations. Thanks. Obviously, since you've been at Penn State, you've turned this team around. You're really on a historic run. But I know you're concerned about the whole sport of wrestling as a whole. What would your advice be to other programs that would like to turn themselves around and achieve success that they had trouble achieving over the last few years? Well, you know, it's easier said than done, and, and uh, coaching is a stressful job, and it's about winning, you know. <clears throat> my job's to, you know, do the best that I can, obviously, uh, but, you know, I keep my job by winning, so it's hard for me to say, you know, do this, do that, because everyone's in their own situation, everyone has, everyone has their own circumstances, but I would just say, you know, you have to do things the right way, and you have to recruit the right kids, you know, it's so easy to, to give a kid a nod, because maybe he has a little bit more talent, or maybe he... Uh, you think there's a chance, you know, that he can win a match where the kid that might be doing everything right, that works a little harder, that wrestles a little bit harder. Um, but in the long run, I think you, you know you gotta, you gotta, you gotta go with the right kind of kinds of kids. You know, there's the quick fixes and this and that don't really work in the long run. So, you know, it's just uh, being patient, trust yourselves, and and, uh, and you could go on and on. But, Mike, so I won't. Oh, sorry, Mike, Mike Pitt for what? Yeah, anyway. Just to, not to elaborate on the, the disappointment tonight, but can't, couldn't help but think about when David Taylor lost as a freshman. Will you be able to use that as an example for Jason and Bo to help them overcome any disappointment or doubt they have tonight? Well, I think there are a lot of examples where people lose and uh, it propels them forward, you know, to greater heights, and maybe they wouldn't have reached had they had they not won. You know, um, you know, David Taylor is a great example. You know, he was bigger than. Than winning four national titles, you know, the, the reputation he built for himself, the way he competed, um, that's bigger than winning, you know, that's, uh, and, and uh, that's what we want to do. We want to be bigger than winning. Um, for the most part, our guys are moving forward and, and trying to score points, and, and uh, you know, in the long run, that's going to win, you know, and that's what we believe, and that's what we're going to keep doing. Take one more question right here. Eric Knopfsender from the Tribune Democrat in Johnstown. Uh, Sticking with the uh, the good of the sport comment, I saw Quentin Wright tweeted that this was the most exciting finals that he's seen in years. Do you think that the new rules and, and some of the things that they're trying to do is encouraging more scoring and helping the sport from what we saw tonight? Uh, well, yeah, I don't know. I, have to, I mean, what rules are we talking about? The four-point near fall or the, the push-out rule kind of a thing? I mean, I think... Um, that's a good thing, you know. I don't think stalling is necessarily what's going going on on the edge, but you know, you aren't seeing that as much in the past. You'd see kids, you know, get right back to the edge and, and kind of hang out there and wait for their opponents to make mistakes. We're not seeing that as much anymore, which is is, is huge. There's still a lot of stalling that goes on in, the, in wrestling, but I don't think you're going to solve that problem. That's you know, kids are smart, and you know, you can't penalize them for stalling. You know, you just got to reward people for for action, right, by scoring points and. And that's, uh, that was the pattern they took in freestyle. I think freestyle's improved a great deal um, because of that. But, um, yeah, I think wrestling's getting more competitive, and, and the teams are getting better. I mean, there's good teams all over the country, good good kids all over the country. Um, and that's great. That's great for the sport. Um, you know, kids can go anywhere and win right now. So 
uh, I think that the sport, especially at the collegiate level, is just just getting stronger and stronger. Are we good? Everybody good? Right, Dale, thanks, thank thanks. you so much for your patience.